A wart is what you'll find commonly on your hand, and a verruca is what you'll find on your foot. It's both the same condition, they're both a viral infection of the skin, but that's the way in which we distinguish between the two. The bottom of the foot is a common place, but it can occur anywhere on the foot. What you're looking out for is sometimes a small, discoloured patch of skin, sometimes it's slightly whiter and sometimes slightly thicker, but what you may also see is small little black dots in the middle, and that can be very indicative of a verruca. Sometimes it's difficult to distinguish between hard skin and verruca, and one simple way is that if you press down on it and it's a little bit more tender than if you pinch it, if you pinch it, it's more likely to be a verruca, and it's more painful when you press directly, it's more likely to be hard skin. As the verruca is a virus, we're not always sure exactly where we first contracted it, and it can take sometimes quite a long time to develop before it becomes really noticeable. Therefore, it really is important the moment you do consider there's something wrong is to have it dealt with sooner rather than later. When considering treatment options for a verruca, there are three real ways in which we can look at it. The first is do nothing. The body will look to a way of managing itself and the verruca can go. If that is something that's not happening or you're concerned that it's spreading and becoming painful, then the use of over-the-counter preparations that you can get from a chemist um, is something that is the next step that you may want to employ. If that's not an option that really is working for you, then seeking professional advice from a podiatrist may look to employ some other options, including cryotherapy, or in some cases, sort of minor surgical procedures to manage this more complex and painful presentation of your verruca. I've often been asked, how do you prevent or stop yourself getting a verruca? And the challenge is it's really difficult because we're not very clear exactly how and where we always contract it. But if you know you're going to areas where you're going to be exposed at risk, so in public changing rooms, so swimming baths, some people in the past have worn things like verruca socks, or in the changing room using flip-flops, what you do is you're just removing and separating yourself from those services where you may pick them up. Although this is not always a guarantee, it's certainly something you could consider.